you know, a look back at some of the destructive tornadoes that went through Texas, but it didn't just impact the people who live there, but their furry friends too. Yeah, the Pasadena Animal Shelter was completely destroyed, and now the shelter is in dire need of fosters as they try to get their nearly 200 animals uh, that were there at the shelter a forever home. So here to tell us more is Laura Morellis, uh, Community Information Manager for the city of Pasadena, Texas. Lauren, thank you for joining us here on Fox Weather. Thank you for having me. Well, we always appreciate the chance to be able to talk about getting some good animals, some good dogs, some homes. Let's talk about the extent of damage, though, that was left at the shelter uh, after the tornado went through. And then what is the plan now moving forward as you try to rebuild? It, it had about, I want to say about a million dollars worth of damage. Uh, the, the roof was torn off the shelter. I don't know if in that shot right there, that's not a greenhouse you're looking at. That's not a terrarium. That is our animal shelter without a roof on it. So that was an older building. We have a new adoption center next door, but that is a much smaller building. And it is not equipped to hold all of the animals that we take in on a regular basis. So uh, our crews really have had to think quick and I'm going to give it to the Pasadena Animal Shelter. They called all their shelters locally. They called all the rescue groups, even boarding uh, places. And we had 22 respond and they were able to transport the animals for foster within 24 hours. So that's good to hear because as you had mentioned, it's tough to get you have nearly 200 animals all into one location. So now that you have them in some locations, how is it you're going to go about getting fosters and adoptions underway? Well, what we're doing right now is, besides thanking everybody, uh, we have, if you go to the Pasadena Animal Shelter, now that's Pasadena, Texas, um, not Pasadena, California, uh, but if you go to the Pasadena, Texas Animal Shelter Facebook page, uh, they do have a post that lists all of the particular shelters, rescue organizations, boarding facilities that actually took in our animals, and they are available there. Now, these guys also have pets of their own that they've been taken care of. So we're really pushing everyone to please adopt from these locations. I did get word today that there are several animals that are leaving to go out of state because that's just the way the animal loving community is. They're just willing to help each other from across the country. No, so it really is a nationwide effort to make sure these animals mm -hmm. are getting dispersed so they can get the attention they need and get them to the homes that they need. I want to ask you too, because when we're looking at the shelter, the roof is gone. All the dogs are still in their kennels. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but everybody was, for the most part, all the pets were okay after the tornado went yes. through, right? Which is miraculous. <laughs> We had two with minor injuries, but they were taken by rescue groups and they were nursed back to health. So that was good. Um, I did text our shelter director just a few minutes ago, and um, she said that they are loved very much. Mm -hmm. And so we may not get those guys back. <laughs> but <laughs> the great thing is um, we did put out a call for donations. And last I heard, it was almost about $100,000 worth of donations had poured in from around the country, California, Florida, New Jersey. New York, Pennsylvania, Montana, um, that's going to help so much. It's going to help for animal care. It's going to help to help us rebuild. And also animal supplies, as you can see right there, that's a church, Asbury United Methodist in Pasadena. Minutes after this happened, they called our mayor directly and said, we want to be a drop-off place for people who want to drop off donations for not only the animal shelter, but also the displaced people. We had 600 damaged homes, so people are displaced, and they want to be the pickup point and the drop-off point for animal supplies. And you kind of just alluded to, and we want to ask, as a, a city itself has experienced so much damage from this tornado, how is the city recovering overall? The city overall is doing amazing. Um, that is one of the things about Pasadena, Texas. Uh, you know, we're not that small of a city. We're the second largest city in Harris County. We're right next door to Houston. And so uh, we're 150,000 people, but it feels like a really small town because everybody comes together. I've honestly never seen anything like it. I've worked several places, uh, worked in Houston, and the way that the community comes together to help each other in situations like this is something amazing to see. Couldn't agree more. I mean, anytime we see a natural disaster such as this, the community comes together and then you include pets in that and all the folks that are working hard mm -hmm. to make sure they're okay. Gosh, they have good hearts and we're just so glad. Yeah.
It, yes. It's kind of, I don't know, it's just nice and refreshing to see just the good in humanity every now and then. We appreciate you joining us, Laura Morales, County uh, Community Information Manager for the city of Pasadena, Texas. Thank you and good luck moving Thank you forward. For I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.